Hey, good morning. We are in our virtual lab and uh, today we are going to study how a selectively permeable membrane work. We are going to see how the diffusions work and uh, how osmosis works. So for to do so, this is what we need. We need as materials. Of course, we need a different um, measuring cap, vickers, just in case some safety with some gloves. We need the dialysis, ba uh, dialysis bags, which is the tabbing. You can find those tabbing anywhere, even in Walmart. Those tabbing, I put them here. Just piece of silicone, but this is uh, this is uh, going to be our artificial selective membrane that is will let uh, the water go in and uh, uh, some uh, little molecules such as iodine, but not big molecules such as the starch. If you remember starch, it's a, a polysaccharide. We need rubber band. We need a transfer pipette, a marker, and we need to prepare bakers. This baker have uh, this is where we are going to study the diffusion starch versus iodine. This is 1% of sugar over here, which means one gram of sugar to 100 milliliters of water. And this is 50 gram of sugar over here, which is 50 gram of sugar for 100 milliliters of water. And we put 200 milliliters on each. This is only water right now. 200 milliliters of water, 200 uh, uh, milliliters of this uh, sugary solution, which is represent 1% of sugar, and this is 50% of sugar. And this is where I have my solution, 1%, 10% of sh uh, sugar, and also 50% uh, of, um, this is a more a little concentrated, 50% uh, uh, of sugar. 1% as I said, 1 gram for 100 milliliters of water, 10%, 10 gram for 100 milliliters. And, um, and of course we need, uh, that's just the water, we need a solution, starch solution. And we can have it also, you have it also if you have the lab kit from um, uh, biotechnology, from a chemical lab, if you order it, it, it looks like that. This one I just ordered it from uh, Walmart, but it's a starch. And we have iodine solution. You have it also if you order it from a lab. Sometimes the color of iodine is a little yellowish, sometimes no colors on it at all. All right, so we'll come back with you to, um, yeah, and we need a little uh, balance, just a food balance that you have in your kitchen. From now on, if you want uh, to use uh, gloves, you can go ahead. I know that I'm not allergic to starch. I know that I don't develop any allergy against iodine. But if you have any doubt, please wear gloves. Okay, I'm not going to wear the gloves. So first I will take my, um, my, um, dialysis, uh, tabin, right? Right. And they have a beaker with some water. It's helping me to open it. Because if you see, it's a, we can open it. So I open it on one side and they came to this side. And they am going to do it this way. And take a little rubber band. And they am going to close it. Tie it very well to not have just in one side to not have any leaking because my solution star solution I'm going to put it inside this is as I said this is an artificial selective membrane that is we know that is very doesn't let big molecule go in um, back and forth but it let the water get in but not starch, big molecules such as the starch. And you got it, you know what we are using. We are going to put in a baker iodine 
Iodine can, can, um, can diffuse inside of the membrane, but the starch cannot diffuse uh, in or out. So I'm going to put starch inside of my membrane. I'm sure that I did it very, very well because I don't want any leaking. With my rubber bands. Tie it very well and then open it. And the way you open it, you just use a little water in your hand and rub it like that and you, you will open. So it, it forms like a sack and inside of it, we are going to put with our transfer pipette 10 milliliters of starch. Either you use the starch that you have in your lab kit if you order the lab kit. Uh, me, I use the starch that I got from Walmart. Or you can order it from Amazon. And put it inside, about like 10 milliliters inside. You can use your 10 milliliters with this, but I don't know. We still have to put eight. So I put my 10 milliliters of starch inside and then I'm going to put another rubber band. You see, it's not leaking, nothing came out. And this is what I want also on the other side. I'm going to put the rubber band and tie it. As you can see, I tie it very well, nothing is leaking, right? And they take my 200 milliliters of um, where I put the water and they am going to put fifteen drop of iodine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. After I put my 15 milliliters of, let me see that if I can mix very well. Then I will put my bag in and then I'm going to wait 30 minutes and we are going to see the diffusion of iodine inside of starch, how I know it. Exactly, because iodine will make the starch looking black you remember our experiment with the starch to know if a solution have a starch we put iodine on it 
we, we if we know that if we want to know that potato have a starch we put a one drop of iodine it will turn black blue well the same thing we are going to see the iodine diffusing inside of our artificial membrane and turning black blue this is an artificial diffusions we will leave it for 30 minutes and during this time what i'm going to do i'm going to prepare a different bag to study the osmosis okay i will take my bag number one and then i'm going to put on a 10 milliliters i will rub it in one side right and then we'll put on it one 10 milliliters of one percent uh, uh one uh, percent of a uh, sugar i will come back to you um, later on when i prepare all my bags all right dear student here we are after like 30 minutes of our artificial dialysis and we are going to see our baker where we put uh 15 percent of um uh iodine and we put inside of our dialysis uh, uh, artificial membrane 10 milliliters of a starch solution and you remember that what is it iodine will turn the starch solution into a dark blue violet and here it is our solutions inside is not it's just yellowish because of the uh, iodine the type of iodine that i'm using has a yellowish color all right so you don't see any dark blue outside because starch actually this membrane does not let big molecule cross this artificial so starch it's a poly polysaccharide molecule it doesn't go outside but iodine will go inside and you see it, it turned dark blue that's it we end up we finish our artificial dialysis diffusion of this membrane what we are going to do next we are, as I said, we are going to study um, osmosis and we need those dialysis bag and each bag we are going to uh, put a marker because we need a four bag. So here is one. There is two. We need four of them. Three. and four i don't need a glove but you i really suggest that you use glove in case you are allergic to now we are not we are just using sugar and water so we are going to use in the black bag one we are going to put uh 10 milliliters of uh of one percent solution of uh, sugar in bag b 10% of um, sugar, black C, 50% of sugar, and black D, 1% of sh uh, sugar. We are going to make two bags of 1% of sugar. All right, so I would start by the same thing that I prepare my star solution is in the same way, okay? I will uh, meet with you once I have all my bags ready. All right, guys. Um, what we are we we look at already the artificial dialysis um, or diffusion of iodine inside of starch solution did you see that the starch solution turned completely dark blue all right look at that it's not that beautiful now we are using the same dialysis membrane the same artificial membrane to study the osmosis and those membrane we know that does let the water get in small molecules get in and out but not big molecules such as the starch. So all what we are doing is we are going to put different solution of sugar inside of those bags. And we are using different color of rubble bands because we are going to put those back together and each bag does not contain the same concentration of a solid with the solid here is the sugar. So the blue one is 1%. And my problem with the marker, if I put it in, it may be erased, so I'm using different color for rubber band. So the blue is for 1% sugar. The pink is for 10% sugar. So I know for sure that you will let the water get up, in and out, but not the sugar, those number. 10%. And the green bag, the green one is a sea bag, which is going to contain 50%, very concentrated on sugar. And then the yellow one, 
it's a bag D. We are going, it's going to contain again another 1% of, um, uh, of sugar. And first of all, what we are going to do with the balance that we have, we are going to measure how much initial weight those bags uh, weigh. So, so initial weight that I already measure it. Okay, it's like 15 grams, 15 grams for each. So I put, I put like a little table, I show you. So I put a little table, bag A, it's my blue one. This is it. And inside of it, I have 1% of sugar. Bag B, it's the pink one, pink. I have 10% of sugar. Bag uh, C, which is the green one, I have 50% of sugar inside. And the yellow one is my black D, and I have 10 one percent of sugar inside 10 milliliters of each all of them have 10 milliliters if you look at the volume it's all the same and they weigh them and make my table all of them weight like 15 grams of uh initial weight 15 gram bag a b c and d and then i'm going to do the final after like 30 minutes where i will going to put them in hypotonic solution, isotonic solution, or hypertonic solution for each bag, all right? So when I put in and they make, and I am going to see if osmosis is happening, all of them, and which and which bag will change the, so in my solution of 1%, this is it, I tried to, I'm not a good uh, draw. So this is my solution of 1% of sugar, right? I have 200 milliliters, of 1% sugar on it, I'm going to put bag A, B, and C. Bag A, if I have to go back to my table to see what is bag A. Bag A, B, and C. So bag A is my blue one, which have 1%, and this is 1% of sugar, so it's going to be the same. So it's going to be isotonic for it. We are going to see that, we are going to verify that. Bag B, it's the pink. Put it in and bag C, it's a green. Put it in and we are going to leave it for 30 minutes. And the bag D, which is the yellow, we are going to put it with, I have 1% on it, but we are going to put it in 50% of sugar. All right, and we I will see you. I will see you after 30 minutes and wait again 30 minutes 40 minutes and wait again and look at that how beautiful it is i love that look at our star solution and to be honest guys my bag become very very hard seems like also some water came in it's blowing really very nicely the starch the iodine came inside of the starch and turn it dark blue like that anyway that's a sample diffusion so we are going to wait like 30 40 minutes and let's wait 40 minutes okay and wait again the our uh, uh, bag and see if osmosis happen see you later all right guys what i want i uh, i wait my bags after 30 minutes take the extra of water on it wrap it in like um, napkins like that and they wipe them using my balance. I figure out that my black blue, which is my bag A, doesn't change in the weight. You have 15 gram of, uh, or as a weight. My pink one gain a little. I have like 16 gram as a weight. And my green one, my green one have like 20 grams uh, as a weight. And my, what is very funny, it's my yellow one, he become completely little flatty. He have only 10 gram as a weight. So, um, if I... so therefore, uh, my weight bag A that have 1% of sugar, when I put it in a container with 1%, does not change, or that does not have any change on weight. So it doesn't lose or gain weight, all right? The bag B that initially have 15 gram, 
and then after 30 minutes when i put it in the container he have 10 percent of sugar and when i put it in container with one percent of sugar he does gain weight almost one gram so he does gain right and bag c that have bag c have a 50 percent of sugar right he weighs initially also 15 gram and uh, it become after 30 minutes when i put it in a container that's contain one percent he gained also weight a lot almost five grams so he gained he change of weight yes gain uh weight yes bag d however he contained one percent of sugar but i put it in a container that contained 50 percent of sugar he lose a lot of traumatic clay if you look at it he look he look at if you remember he look at flat and um he lose water so osmosis happen almost in all my bag b c and d a does not change and for only reason is what is inside of the bag is one percent and they put it in one percent so i put my bag in an isotonic solution so they are no lose of water or gain of water those bags b and c contain if you really see it b contain 10 percent and they put it with one percent i go back to show you um i put it in one percent solution and a contain one percent doesn't change b contain 10 percent and the c contain 50 percent so these two bags are very highly concentrated as compared as one percent and the container so therefore the water will come going in in and those bag gain water and in bag D, he contained only 1% of sugar. And they put it in contact of a solution that contain 50% of sugar. So therefore, he will lose a lot of water because the water will move from hypotonic solution, which is inside of the bag, 1%, to hypertonic solution. Here is the opposite. It's going to go inside of the bag because this is the hypotonic solution one percent and this is ten percent inside and fifty percent inside so what is inside of my membrane that is membrane are very more concentrated hypertonic as compared as hypotonic solutions this is hypertonic as compared as hypotonic solution, the opposite. So here, my membrane lose, uh, lose water, and here, my membrane gain water. It came a lot of water inside. All right, and let's resume our osmosis for artificially um, um, uh, semi-permeable membrane, dialysis membrane. Thank you.